We have obviously uh, uh, the largest inflation that we've seen since 1982. Uh, the interest rates are coming up. I think that's causing a lot of volatility in the market. Uh, uh, but you know, the positive aspect is the earnings are still very good. Earnings growth has been uh, very good in here. So I think we have more of a, a much more volatile uh, period. I'm looking for more of a sideways market in here and uh, you know rather than than just uh, just one way. So it's um, and it's a reflection of what's happening with the fiscal policy of the government, uh, more regulations, uh, cut down the oil supply. We have to remember the biggest part of inflation was due to the energy and the, the oil. Uh, so uh, those types of things are impacting in the market. We have to remember we have the lowest interest rates in decades and forever almost. And so having interest rates go up and a, uh, a good earnings reports and that type of thing is, is not a negative. If we, the pandemic is more behind us, we're getting back to a more normal economy and a more normal economy would see uh, better than zero interest rates. So uh, when we say, gee, rates are going to be 2% on the 10-year uh, bond, gee whiz, we haven't seen that in many you know, decades. We have to remember that big tech did very, very well during the years of the pandemic where the rest of the market went down. Big tech did well in that period. And uh, what we're seeing now is much more of a correction there. And as interest rates go up, the multiple, the PE of tech is, is really uh, coming down. So that's really, uh, the earnings still are, are favorable on uh, big tech and uh, the big tech isn't getting smaller, the companies are getting larger, but the multiples I think are, are coming down here. So we're really seeing other parts of the the uh, you know economy uh, come back in here maybe to quote a normal type of economy. Well, the biotech is a very interesting industry in the sense that they are coming out with new solutions uh, for for people in that type of thing. But you know the uh, how they get them really to uh, the people and the pricing and all that. There's still always a little uncertainty until that happens. So. Uh, you know, biotech is still in interesting and it's still a place to be, but it, you know, it's not just going to happen overnight. It's, it's a process going forward. Yeah, I, I think uh, we're hopeful that's where we go. Hopefully the pandemic is behind us. It's very hard to predict that, but if the pandemic is behind us, we'll get into, uh, quote, a normal environment. And a normal environment means that the Fed doesn't have to keep uh, creating money in that type of thing, uh, which is causing inflation uh, right now. And so we get into sort of a quote, normal type of uh, environment. In this markets environment uh, that we're in, we, we think our, uh, our alternatives in the market uh, place is uh, really uh, not a place to be. Uh, for, for example, we have an alternative to fixed income uh, in a rising interest rate environment, our market neutral income fund is really an alternative to a rising interest rate environment. It doesn't have the risk that bonds have as rates go up. Uh, so uh, the, uh, our market neutral fund uh, is, is that. We also have some other hedge. We have the Phineas Long Short, hedged equity. Uh, those are strategies in this volatile market environment uh, that, uh, that are doing well and we think will help dampen the volatility for investors uh, going forward. What we've done is uh, we've uh, grown the company. We have an ESG fund now. We have uh, the long short strategies. Uh, so uh, we, we feel very, very uh, confident uh, that uh, we continue to grow. Uh, John Kadunas, my CEO, has done a great job in, in helping us do that. It's helped me focus more just on the investment side of the business. So we're very positive about the company going forward. One of the things that uh, has really helped me in recent years is building out my team more. Uh, 
bringing on John Condutis as our CEO and building out that team. Uh, you know, I like focusing on the markets. Uh, you know, the markets have always been very interesting to me since I was in college in the way uh, the markets really reflect what's going on in the world. They're really the pulse of what's happening in the world. So uh, it's interesting from, from that point of view. Why is the market so volatile? Well, look at all the geopolitical risk we have going on. What's going to happen in the Ukraine with Russia? All that is impacting everything. So uh, staying involved and thinking about those things and helping my team and uh, that having those types of discussions is, is really what I'd like to do and continue to do.